Hey guys, it is DGD, Doll Gamer Dill. Welcome back to another part to God of War, Ragnarok. Alrighty, so in the last part, we did a couple of things that weren't really that important to the story, but we learned a lot about where um, the reason why Atreus was looking for Tyr, as well as a whole lot of other things that happened that I honestly cannot recount. And I'm playing this in real time. Because it's a lot of information. And it's also like 1 in the morning and I'm tired and, you know, I can only get, hang on to but like so much information. But in summary, we're looking for this guy named Tyr. He's possibly still alive, but he's also possibly not alive. And we also bumped into our favorite blacksmiths. Sindri and Brock. And we can talk to them. And how's life been treating everyone's favorite as your Vulgarian? The fuck you call me? <laughs> Exquisite. Okay, Mimir. Ah, uh, I wouldn't say he's Azure. Uh, I wouldn't really say he's Azure. I would say he's more so like... Nah, he's too deep to be Lapis. Uh, it's like Robin's Egg, actually. Not really Azure. More so like Robin's Egg. But yeah. So, I was saying, yeah, uh, we can go on over here and talk to Sindri and Finding see what he right, wants. I, I don't even know what he just said. How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. Uh, yeah. So, where exactly is Tyr being held? He's imprisoned in a mine somewhere. That's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of mines, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Oh, you should talk to Durlin. Who's Durlin? He's a cousin of ours, sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? Interesting. A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader who knew mom. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. What well, is that thing? Never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. Cool. Rebel leader, Durlin? <laughs> if that ain't giving a hound a haircut. Huh? And you, you just remember things however they pop into your being, don't you? I suppose you think Durlin's just counting the days until a couple of strays show up looking for trouble. What do you mean, bro? Will he help us or not? No, oh, never mind. It ain't old Brock's place to cast asparagations on my relations. Asparagations? This smudge sponger notwithstanding. Ignoring you. Fine. Go darken Durland's door. See for yourself how it goes. Just be warned, he's not the friendly sort of dwarf folk you're used to. He's cranky as all get out. And he talk funny, too. Sounds like a true study in contrast. Well, Durlin seems like quite the interesting fellow. You hear that? I don't hear anything. Oh. Are those some kind of dragons? They're so far, I can't tell how big they are. I don't know what those things are. Let's throw our axe and see what it is what it is. What are you doing? I don't think they're a threat. Also, aren't you way out of range? <laughs> Listen. Leave me alone, okay? We'll just need the bifrost and the head. Brock? Do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. 
It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those Bifrost eyes of yours. So, I uh, do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh, oh, Cindy, a stodding bastard! <laughs> Ice cold. Open. Open now. I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it. <laughs> oh! That's it. That's it. Good. Now, release. Still on poison. Oh, that's our cue. Come on, hurry. I'm coming. I'm coming. Frostful of eggs, man. What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Just there. That should do it. See? No permanent damage. Cool. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck. Kratos, throw me at him. Horns first. <laughs> Kids, you take a joke, you old goat. <laughs> The Bifrost is broken. Now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. Mm. I also used it for light. Okay, good note. I'll figure something out, but first... Come on, let me show you how it works. Cool. Okay. Aim your key at the room for Svartalfheim on the right, then concentrate. Oh, so basically fast travel. Ah. This should take you to the wetlands outside Nidavellir City. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. And the Grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But mm. good luck! Thanks. Wait, what? I said good luck! Ought to be fun. Whoa! Do you feel that? What's that like? Anything. E everything. Oh, uh, so it's warm. These warm colors are amazing. We can probably use this boat. If I can just get it free. Careful, lad. We should be able to cut it, right? Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 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 so whoa. Oh, but they're easy to kill. Oh. Watch out! Let's die! Well, that sucks. Well, dang. Hey, hey, no running. No running. No running away. What did you use, Atreus? There are still more. Where are they all coming from? Oh my jeez. I see we're already off to a lively start. Atreus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. We can head through these channels when you're ready. Oh, look at the frogs. I like frogs. <laughs> gonna destroy stuff because you know they don't just they don't it. the 
chain in the water for? That'd be a dwarven supply ferry. Said ferry appears to be missing. Huh. Oh, wow. Okay, this is gonna be really good. Um, let's check over here. I want to see, I want to just see, like, you know, as much of this area as possible. Just make sure I get as much stuff as possible. Because you never know what could be nearby. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's anything nearby. So, yeah, let's head out. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have come that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. They are resources. This area is glowing. Can we, like... Awesome. If you never asked Mom about what she used to do, what did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say... Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. <laughs> and then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better <laughs> The worst part about it is I can see Kratos saying exactly that. Uh, oh, look at the fish. Whoa, I heard something. Okay. Uh, I just paddled in a full circle. I'm trying to see if there's anything at all I need to stop for. Okay, yeah. We, we can do that too. Alright, so let's get that other barrel. I want to get as much stuff as possible because, like I said, um, now that God of War is becoming more and more like a... An RPG, you really never know what you'll need. I mean, and like in a way, it was kind of like always like an RPG, but it never really had the level system, so you know, that's what I'm talking about. Which I'm a fan of. Is there a way we can go faster, or are we like... Uh, did you see that over there? Yes, I did. I don't think we can fight anything from within this boat, so... Okay, I'm gonna come over here. Grab that, Atreus. Great job. We got some raw hide. I think we needed that for our Blades of Chaos. I'm not sure. But, you know, we just keep collecting. That wheel is blocking the channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. Uh, we'll have to be on land for that. So, these are wetlands, huh? It's pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know what is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it? Looks like the path continues on the other side of that geyser. Now how to get past the geyser. <laughs> if only we were in Midgard. That water'd be frozen in a second. Oh. See, look at me using my smarticles. They didn't even have to tell me what to do. Oh, uh, these treasure chests that we actually cannot open yet. 
until we get something important. No, break the... There you go. Um... Oh, right, 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 right. I remember. We have to break the seals. We have to find all the seals and then break them, and then that's how we do it. So we got this one over here. And there should be another one close by. Actually, it's probably in here. In here. Ah, they see? They... Look at me. And now we can open that treasure chest and Wood get whatever this is. From the dwarven resistance. Raid Mars Brassard. Father of a few dwarves you may be well familiar with. Rock may be interested in getting these back. Better in his hands than out in the open. Cool. And now let's open this. It's an apple. It's an I done apple. Uh, collected enough Iden apples, maximum health increased. Awesome. All right. Well, now we can continue. I think that's dirty enough to climb. Aye. Yeah. Good old dwarven craftsmanship. Here was a friend to the Giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the rebellion here. That's certainly possible. The God of War often advocated for the Giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. <laughs> There's gotta be a faster way to get down there. Of course there is. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Dauntless shield. Tap L1 at the last second to parry an attack. Cool. Up, oh, more coming. Nice. Jesus. There we go. Oh, wait, no. Break the stuff first. And I was gonna come over here and see what was, you know, over here. And it doesn't seem... I... Th Did we come this way? Or am I tripping right now? Okay. Um, that is going that way so because there is a treasure chest up there I'm gonna go back over here we're gonna run over here and we will climb all 
All right, we got some more forged iron. That's awesome. I don't believe there's anything else over here that we got to be worried about. So let's go. What's over here? Nothing. Okay. Okay. There's got to be some way to turn the wheel up here. Man's a warning if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in cheek. The ground. Hmm. I felt like I did that. At some I felt like I did that. Fine. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. Think you can reach the wheel from here? All right, so we're gonna knock this down. This way, we'll have a way to come back. And we should be able to use our Blades of Chaos right here and turn it. Oh, wow. Nice job getting it to lower exactly where we need it. Yeah, I totally meant to do that. I was thinking, because it's so warm... Maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Spartalfon? I lad. Thimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Thimble Winter doesn't always make it winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. Okay. Think we can fit under that bridge? Duck your head. All right, well, that was sick. I kind of remember what these things were, but I forgot what they did. All right, Dew of Runic Power. A drink from the Dew of the World Tree brings lasting benefits to the whatever the F that just said, because I can't read it anymore. All right. We can come here and get whatever's in that treasure chest and knock this bucket down. All oh, these things are back. Oh, you know what? Let's switch to our blades of chaos. Okay, that was easy. All right, let's climb up here. We got some monies. Oh, this thing's all dried up. Oh, and it's decayed too. I don't know what those things are, but they kind of remind me of the hunters from Resident Evil. Just a little bit. Just like, you know, hunters on, that aren't actually on steroids and that can't um, cam camouflage. Father, there. What? Whatever. Oh. Oh. Climb up here. Oh, it's Bramble. We got some raw hide. Yeah, I think we can use this stuff for our axe or our um, blades of chaos. 
definitely what we need. And that looks like some stuff for our... Yep, some more raw raw hide. Okay. Um... Find anything good up there? Yes, I did. A lot of good stuff. But you were with me, I think. And there's a treasure chest right here. A lot of good stuff over here. I'm glad we came here. Of course not. Um, Alright, so this island seems done. I don't believe there's anything else we need here. We got all the good treasures. So let's head out. get whatever's under here under the sea and let's come over here can we open this no we need to figure out how to open that all right we got off over there so we need to get off over here okay Oh, more. Oh, okay, so if we knock them into the water, that kills them automatically. Alright, that's pretty cool, I guess. Alright, there's a path over here. I want to see what's up here first. You know, you just want to try to explore as much as possible, because, like, once again, in games like this, these where, like, okay, I'm not playing on, like, the hardest difficulty, but these games tend to be very annoying. Like, I remember all the way back from, like, the first God of War, even playing on normal was just so difficult for some reason. I mean, for me at least. Because I remember, like, I got through almost all of that, like, basically that entire game playing on normal, but by the time I got to, I think it was God of War 1, and I got to the last boss fight, which was Ares, oh my god, like, that fight, for some reason, I could not do. It was, like, so ridiculously hard on normal. So much so that I had to, like, I think I died, like, 10 or 15 times. I don't even know why. And I swear I was doing everything correctly. It's like, I think we need to get that wheel moving. The that's not even the right thing. Ares was overpowered. Oh, and then, don't even get me started on Zeus. And I believe that was God of War 2. Oh my god, those fights were so annoying. And it's like, I can't even remember everything that happened in those fights, but I remember, like, in the Ares fight, like, Kratos was as big as Ares at that point. And I think he had a sword, too. Like, he had the Master Sword or something. He had this big, like, major weapon that we could only get by the end of the game. Like, you know, once we get all the other, like, really good stuff that we got throughout the majority of the entire game, so much so that we got this legendary sword that was supposed to be like super powerful that didn't really mean anything because I kept dying the entire time well, that sucked oh okay I think if I aim it maybe from here yes there we go back to the boat Back to the boat. <gasps> if the dwarves of this realm are anything like Rock and Sindri, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Is Maybe they just need a couple here? of gods to come along and take nope. the fight to him. Atreus, 
That is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke. It's really Especially not. Especially where gods are concerned. Yeah, you should know. <laughs> All of those gods we killed. That's crazy. Y'all remember the, um... Do you guys remember the... I... I'm trying to have a memory and I can't even remember it. Like, oh my god. Yeah, the Gaia fight. That was the one I was looking for. The Gaia fight, I think it was by the end of 3. That one was sick. Um, the Poseidon fight, I think that was Ghost of Sparta was sick too. Intend to recruit Tyr as an ally for war. I just I'm The Zeus fight was open. epic. Let's just keep moving. Well, we when we I'm accidentally killed his sister. Maybe before we, we go over there. The there is a a uh, ledge right over here, and I think we can get some stuff. Not a ledge, um, a path. All of those fights were sick, honestly. Yikes! This place is wrecked. Yes, yes, it is. I am staying alert. There are probably tons of those Grim around. <laughs> You and Kratos are funny. But I'm not going to lie. I am going to cut the part off right here. Because, you know, I'm about to run out of time. And there's, like, way more stuff to explore. So in the next part, we will pick up from where we last left off. I will find the three seals to open that treasure chest over there. I, it looks like we have another puzzle that I won't be able to solve right now because I, I just don't have enough time. And hopefully we get to explore more of this new area. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like, you can follow my Twitter, Instagram, and my brand new Reddit page. That will all be in the link in the description down below. As well as like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content. There's an enemy down there and he's like totally killing the vibe right now but as always this is d 